Today we're going to show you how to change the interior halogen light bulb on your microwave. Really easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect the power to the microwave. Either find the cord and unplug it or if you can't access the cord, just turn the breaker off. Now to get at the bulb, it is located in a little housing in behind the front grill here. So we need to remove the grill. There are two screws that are down through the top that access that. You may have to pull the unit forward from your cupboards to access these two screws. Now with the two screws removed, and this is a little easier if we open the door. Then we're going to tilt the top of that grill forward until it disengages. And then coax the bottom of it out. And there are three little tabs that engage some slots on the bottom of the cabinet. We'll set that aside. Next, there is a single Phillips screw that holds the light socket holder. Remove that screw and lift up on the right end of that holder and then pull it to the right to disengage a tab on the opposite end. Lift the whole assembly free and you can pull it out. That gives us access to the bulb. Now there may be a bit of silicone holding that old bulb in there, so you may have to wiggle that a bit or scrape the silicone off until the bulb comes free. Take the old bulb out. And before you install the new one, we want to make sure that that's nice and clean because halogen light bulbs burn very hot and if there's any oil from your fingers on them, it will actually cause the glass to break on them. So clean it well. And then with a tissue or a soft rag, insert it into the socket. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. And be careful not to touch the bulb again. Slide the holder into place. Taking care to engage the tabs at the rear end. Tab, center tab on the holder should sit on top of the metal plate. Drop it into place. Secure it with the one screw. And we're ready to put the grill back on. Line up the tabs with the slots in the cabinet. And the two top tabs, we have to tuck under the edge of the top of the cabinet. Make sure it's flush all along on the bottom side before we pop the top into place. And just a gentle tap, and that'll snap into place and secure it with the two screws. We're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.